What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Clover, which will let you actually install both Windows and SteamOS on your main hard drive. So if you have that 512 gig or even updated your uh, internal solid state drive uh, to a larger drive, you can format that, partition it, and have both your SteamOS and Windows drive. And the best thing is you don't have to reformat your SteamOS drive in order to do that. So if you already have a game installed and you don't want to reinstall it, you can simply shrink your drive and install the new windows os alongside it so this is gonna be a fun tutorial and i'm actually gonna erase my entire steam deck and start it fresh just so i can make this one for you guys so if you like this one be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below all right so i've gone ahead and reinstalled steam and it is a fresh operating system uh, aside from one game automatically installing uh, boulder's gate uh, everything else is just on my sd card and it's fresh so i'm going to show you how to install windows so now we can see we have an internal drive with 300 gigabytes free we're going to click on the steam menu and we're actually going to power off our machine so we're going to go to shutdown and confirm now what you're going to need is a usb drive at least eight gigs and you're going to install the steam os iso onto this because even though SteamOS in desktop mode has the KDE partition manager, which we're going to use. You can't actually edit a partition if you're in and using that partition. So we can't actually log into Steam and, and just do it there. We need to log into a drive containing the exact same program and use that instead. So I've gone ahead and installed that here and I'm going to plug it into a dock here. And what we're gonna do is on the Steam Deck, you're gonna hold down the volume down button and then tap the power button. And you're just gonna wait for the Steam Deck to turn on while holding down the volume down button. And then once you see that, you're gonna go ahead and let go. All right, you're gonna see that we have SteamOS here, EFI hard drive, and an EFI USB device. We're going to click on that, and it's going to start loading into the USB. And this could take some time. All right, so we've gone ahead and loaded into the UI. And what we're going to look for is KDE. So let's go to System and choose KDE Partition Manager. Now we have a partition manager that shows all of the uh, partitions on our drive, and we can see that we have this really large one. This is obviously our SteamOS drive. So what we wanna do is we wanna shrink this one to make enough space for a new Windows drive. So let's right click on this and we're gonna to go to resize slash move and we can actually adjust the bar itself by dragging it. So if I wanted about 150, uh, that should be good. 148,000 megabytes, so 148 gigs for Windows. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit okay. Now we have this unallocated 145 gig drive so we're going to right click on that and we're going to go to new for the file system. It doesn't really matter what we choose because we can always adjust this later um, when we install Windows. But I'm going to go ahead and choose NTFS and I'm not going to label it. I'm not going to really do anything else. I'm just going to go ahead and set up the drive as NTFS and hit OK. And now that that's done, it's not actually adjusted anything in our drives yet. We actually have to hit apply for that to take effect because it says two pending operations here. So. We're going to go ahead and click on apply. It's going to give you a warning that this is going to permanently change the drive. Uh, let's go ahead and click apply pending operations. And we can wait for this to complete. Uh, once this is complete, you're going to have two separate partitions um, plus your OS ones. But you're going to have your main Steam OS and then a new 150 gig um, partition that we can use for Windows later. All right, so this has been successfully completed. And now we have... If we press OK, it's going to scan our drive again, and it's going to say we have, this is our Steam drive, and now we have this separate drive um, that we can use for whatever we want. So now we need to install Windows. So let's go ahead and close out of this. We're going to go ahead and turn off our device. So go to Shutdown and choose Shutdown. So now we have the same drive. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug it into my computer. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over to the Windows 11 download page, and I'm going to choose create Windows 11 installation media because this is going to let us use all of it at once. So let's go ahead and download and run the media creation tool. Refresh the drive list. Let's hit next. And things are going as expected. So let's just wait for this to load. All right, so our flash drive is ready. Now we're going to place that drive into our 
USB hub again. And then we're going to do the same thing as before. On the um, Steam Deck, we're going to hold down the volume down button. And we're going to press the power button. And then we're going to let go of it once it actually turns on. So hopefully it'll show up on the game capture device. And there it is. So we're going to go ahead and choose our USB device, Kingston Traveler. And we're actually loading into Windows right now. One really nice thing is they actually automatically replace the Windows logo with the Steam logo. Um, I thought that was kind of fun. But you're going to run through the installer just like you would on a normal machine until we get to the actual choosing a drive portion. So you're going to go ahead and choose. I don't have a product key yet. And fun fact, apparently if you're on a device under like 12, if you're on a smaller screen device and that includes the 800p screen of the Steam Deck, you don't actually have to purchase a key. But normally just log in with your um, Microsoft account and you should be good to go. Now we're going to choose which version we want to install. I'm just going to install Home because it doesn't really matter too much to me. But if you need some of these uh, specific features, you can choose that as well. Let's hit Next. We're going to accept the agreement and hit Next. And now we're going to choose Custom Installation. Now here we're going to look for our 145 gigabyte drive, which is right here. We're going to click on that and hit Next. And now it's installing Windows to that partition. Now, one thing, you will not be able to actually load into this without using the uh, bootloader, holding down the volume down button and turning it on every time. So I'm going to show you how to install Clover so that every time you turn on your Steam Deck, it actually asks you, do you want to start in SteamOS or Windows? It counts down a few seconds and then it just chooses SteamOS if you don't input something. Um, if you do input something, then you can move back and forth and you can even theme it. It's pretty cool. All right. So we are logged into Windows and everything is going to work just like uh, we would would expect it to so first i'll show you how to actually boot the normal way so let's go ahead and shut this down power and shut down and at this point we can remove the thumb drive we don't need that anymore windows is now on our steam deck along with steam os and what you want to do is boot into the boot menu so hold down the volume down button and press the power button and keep holding the volume down button and you'll see here we have windows boot manager or steam os we're going to go to steam os this time and if you're okay with that kind of switching, just holding the volume down button and pressing power and choosing your operating system, you're good to go. But I'm going to show you how to install a bootloader so that you can have a visual user interface whenever uh, you turn on your Steam Deck. So let's go to the Steam menu. We're going to go to power. And we're going to go to switch to desktop. All right. And we're in desktop mode. So now what we want to do is go to Firefox. And we're going to use the keyboard to type in Clover. Steam Deck. So we're going to go to the Steam Deck Clover GitHub and you can see, uh, make sure it's the same author here. And we're going to scroll down and you're going to see that we actually have all of the code we need to run here. So what we need to do is go into our application launcher, go to system and go to console. We're going to copy this first command, which isn't super necessary because that's where we're starting, but let's go ahead and paste that here. Now we're going to git clone and we're going to copy this entire command here. So copy and we can paste here. And a fun fact, you can actually hit the A button to submit this. And you'll see that it starts uh, going through the process and it downloads. Thankfully, we got no errors. So we can go into that folder so we can copy this first line here, paste it in and hit A. And we're in that folder now. You can see it in the console here. And now we want to um, set the security for the install script. So we'll paste this here and press A. And then we want to run the install script. So let's highlight this last one, copy, we'll paste it here, and install. So we need to set a password. So let's open up our keyboard. And we just need a very simple password for now. All right, so I've gone ahead and updated the password. So let's paste this in again. And we can enter our password. And now you can choose your default operating system. So if we want SteamOS to load up first, we can choose SteamOS. Otherwise, we can choose Windows. I'm going to choose SteamOS so that it feels like a normal experience every time I turn it on. And we'll press OK. We can see that the installation is started. And everything should be good to go. Now let's try it out. Let's go ahead and shut down our Steam Deck. So I'll go to Shut Down. And we'll shut down completely. 
Now, without holding the volume down button, we could just turn on our Steam Deck, and we're in a bootloader. We can uh, choose all kinds of really cool features, including the uh, theme here. So if we go to GUI tuning, for example, we can go to themes and choose which theme we'd like to use. And they all look pretty cool, but for example, there's a fun one. We can even choose Rick and Morty and uh, head back, and you'll see it switches to Rick and Morty. Pretty cool system, and then once you choose what you want to load into, so I could choose SteamOS or Windows. If I choose SteamOS, it's going to load in just like normal. But yeah, uh, that's it for this one. A little bit long, a little bit uh, convoluted, but I, I hope I got everything. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace. Mike the tech, the architect, huh? Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect, huh?